This section will focus on working with RDDs. We will learn how to create them, how to take actions and transformations on RDDs. We will also learn operations such as joins, set, and numeric operations. Finally, we will take a look at shared variables in a distributed context. In this video entitled Creating RDDs, we will be using the PySpark Interactive Shell. For purposes of demonstration, I will be using the PySpark Interactive Shell on my own computer. You can certainly use it on your own computer as well as you can log into your master instance and execute the bin PySpark command to use it there. So let's get started in the terminal. I want to start in the terminal by going to my Spark directory and then I'm going to execute the command PySpark. This will pull up the interactive shell. And notice that the Spark version that you see is 2.3.2, which is what we downloaded onto our computers. And then my MacBook Pro 2012 came with the Python version of 2. And I have since done the upgrade, so I have Python version 2.715. Yours might be slightly different. What I wanted to show you in the PySpark shell is that essentially you can do the same things as if you were in a Python shell. You can print hello world, you can do addition, you can do subtraction, also float division, there's also modulo division which gives you the remainder of two, there's floor division which gives you four. You can also do exponents to the 20. There's also logical operators, A equals false, B equals true. And so say you want to know what not A and B is, it's true. And what is B or A, that's true and then not B or A gives you false. You can also do set operations using tuples. So say we have our num tuples and we want to know if the number two is in the collection, that's false. And now we want to check to see if the number 64 has membership in the collection, and that is true. You can also define a function. You need to indent the body of the function, takes an input vowel and squares it. You can call your function. You can assign an instance of your function to a variable. And then you can print the result. So this is just a warm up of the PySpark shell. And I want to start the discussion. And first off, we want to know what is an RDD. RDDs are resilient distributed data sets. So for resilient, if an operation is lost while performing on a node in Spark, the data set can be reconstituted from history. Spark knows the lineage of each RDD, which is immutable. Distributed means data in RDDs is divided into one or many partitions and distributed as in-memory collections of objects across worker nodes in the cluster. RDDs provide an effective form of shared memory to exchange data between processes, executors on different nodes, workers. Datasets, RDDs are datasets that consist of records. Records are uniquely identifiable data collections within a dataset. RDDs are partitions such that each partition contains a unique set of records and can be operated on independently. In terms of creating RDDs, if you have an external file, a text file, you can simply use the Spark Contacts, the sc.txt, text file 
Each line of each file represents a separate record. So you can create the RDD when you read in the file. Now if you have a directory that contains multiple files, you would need to use the sc.whole text files, and notice there's an S there, and each record contains the contents of entire files. Other ways to create RDDs can be done programmatically. So you would use the parallelize method or the range method. And so we'll go over these in the terminal. So one way to create the RDD is through distributing a collection of objects and using the sc.parallelize method. And what you see here is that it gives a description that it is a parallel collection. If you want to pull out the first element, the first item of this collection, you would use the first command. That will give you autumn. Now let's use the parallelize method with uh, numerics, integers, nums, RDD. And you can also calculate the minimum value, which is zero. To obtain the entire collection, all the items, you call the collect method, and notice that it returns a list. You can also create an RDD using the range method. So here we have the range of zero up to, but not including 1,000. It increments by one, and there are two partitions. If you want to verify the number of partitions that you have, you can call the get num partitions method. And to verify your maximum number, 999. And if you want to see the first 10 elements, you see 0 to 9. Now, another way to create an RDD is using sc.txt file method. And remember that this is loading a text file. And let's see, how many lines does this file have? It has 44. And if we want to take the first 15 lines and see what the 15 lines are like, this is lyrics to a song. The song is called May Your Kindness Remain by Courtney Marie Andrews. And these are lyrics from her album, May Your Kindness Remain. If you want to see all the lyrics to the song, we know there's 44 lines, so we'll take 44. And one more thing we can do is if you wanted to count the number of times that the word kindness appears in the lyrics, you can use the filter lambda line kindness in line.lower.com. And you see that the word kindness appears 11 times. To exit out of the PySpark shell, you can type exit. In this video, I showed you how to create RDDs by loading an external text file and by using the parallelize and range methods.